Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Elder Scrolls V yeah, Skyrim. Yeah. I decided to make some new gear for an old I'm follower, right Lydia. Remember, she's the she's the, basically the follower that you get after becoming the Thane of Whiterun. And let's take a look at her gear. Made some really, really nice stuff for her. Yeah, I gave her the Champion's Cudgel. I gave her uh, ancient Nord armor that I found. I basically upgraded it with smithing, and then I put some enchants on it, main, mainly with um, yeah, with the armor piece here. I just went with health and health regen. Uh, with the Nord boots, I went with two-handed and carrying capacity, and with the gauntlets, same thing. And then with this, I decided to go two-handed and destruction spell reduction. And the reason for this is so the champion cudgel, hopefully, hopefully I'll never have to charge it with her. I don't know, I'm going to test it out and uh, see if she, um, if she actually needs to have it charged. But yeah, with these enchants here, that should be 100%. 32, 32, 25, and 25 should obviously be over 100%. So... With 100% destruction spell reduction, she should be able to use this infinitely. Like, it should be, you know, it should be free. I shouldn't have to ever charge this weapon for her. Then I gave her the uh, Conric Mask, which I upgraded as well. Uh, that way, if she does get low health, um, she'll be able to um, do all those wonderful things like... Uh, heal and get flame cloak and maybe even summon a dragon priest uh, ally also let's take a look at Lydia's had her info here and I only have her with me right now I don't have any other followers just because I want to test some stuff out um, let's go ahead and view so normally followers wouldn't be able to level after a certain point like i don't know the max level in vanilla for for uh lydia but she's at level 77 her max health is 752 out of 689 that's what the health enchant that i put on her and those are her regeneration stats I don't, she only has uh 50 ice resistance because she's a nord yeah, then her armor rating, total overkill, but fuck it, I might as well go all out with that, right? But she is good at two-handed. I do have her set up to just uh, use two-handed with this mod that I like to use called Advanced Follower Tweaks. Uh, to set it up like that, if you are using this mod, you just go to Combat. And then you can choose like a, like a preset, like General I think is like they'll do anything. Magic only is they'll only do magic. Magic and staff means I'll use both magic and staves if you give them staves. Spell sword means I'll use magic and a one-handed sword. So then we got sword and board or sword and shield and then two-handed weapons. Dual wield, bow and arrow. Ranger, I'm thinking is like um, daggers and bow and arrow, but I'm not really too sure. But yeah, I got to set up for two-handed so she can uh, use the champion's Do cudgel. let me know if I can be of service. Anyways, we are going to be exploring this Dwemer Ruin here. Because uh, I haven't explored it yet. Is this thing fucking working? Okay, it is. Oh, uh, I think... I think the fucking uh, side tone on my microphone is off. That's why I had to check there. We should... Uh, should be able to blow through this place pretty easily. There is a unique bow that we can find here. So let's check it out. In fact, let me go with the... I'm assuming there's going to be Dwemer in here. So I'm going to break out my, my crossbow. I haven't used it in a while. And let's go with some, some good shit. Let's go with some fire. So I'm just going to be traveling around with Lydia for a while. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, somebody just told me to turn back. What was that? Who's talking to us? This doesn't look like a Dwemer ruin. This looks like a cavern. Or at least... Part cavern. Is that mysterious voice? Holy crap! What's going on in this place, huh? Oh, hey, it's a ghost behind us. Of course. Uh, who are you? The name's Katria. I am, was, an adventurer. Raided ruins like this for nigh on 20 years. I was on a trail of something big. It led me here, and I didn't make it. Uh, your name sounds familiar. Oh, you read the book, didn't you? The Ethereum Wars. Ah, yeah. My theory, you know. My research, my life's work, all of it lost, stolen by my own damn apprentice. That's how I ended up here. I can't rest, not until I find the forge, until I can prove that it was my discovery, mine, not his. But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back, turn back before you become the next victim. Says I'm gonna become the next victim. Maybe so. Then again, I thought I could too. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? I know. I know. I was just like you once. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You want a hand? A hand? Uh, sure, I guess. All right. Lead on then. All right, so this ghost is going to accompany us. Lost to the ages, huh? Yeah, I was gonna use stealth, but screw it. Oh, also, um, I decided to take Sophia's shield of solitude. This shield is still good. It is still very, very good shield. Uh, yeah, increases magic resistance by 30%. That's the main reason I want to use it. And hell, even the 35% more damage with your shield is still amazing. I could probably see her with my shield up forever and never take any damage. Cause yeah, my magic resist with the shield and with all my other stuff is like pretty much maxed out. Grab your journal. Oh, this is her then. Damn that scheming elf, damn him, he's stealing, he steals my notes, my discovery, and publishes it under his name. Twenty years of my life spent digging through these ruins, and what do I get? A dedication? Friend and colleague my arse. He's just mocking me. Well, I'll have the last laugh. Taron may have my theory, but he doesn't have any proof, not yet. If I can find the forge first, I can show the world that this is my discovery. Mine, not his. I've got a lead. One of the moldy old books in Mazoon mentioned the forge. 
ruined through and through, but I was able to copy down a few scraps, including a map of the first era Dwemer kingdoms. Need to cross-reference it with the modern borders when I get back. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not going to read all of this right now. As we go. Looks like she died fairly recently, too. Ciao, Lydia. It's awfully loud in this place. Yeah, these guys can't even hurt me. Well, they can a little bit, I guess. Get them. Nice job. Nice job, Lydia. Alright. Just to see if my... Still here. ...theory was correct. Let me take a look at her gear here. Yeah, it doesn't look like she... ...used any charges, I don't know. Used hardly any, if any, at all. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. It's down here. the hell? The fuck was that? Oh, the fucking door looks like it just kind of, like, opens and closes on its own. That's weird. Dwarves call them kinetic resonators. clans in Skyrim. Kinetic resonators? Do whatever it is they're supposed to do. Okay. Yeah, I already know that. Thanks. Up ahead. Damn, things are like flies, no matter how much. Well, we're not gonna have any problems with these guys.
Come on, Lydia. Wow, you get staggered really easily, don't you? I want these Falmer beat up on you. I can't even hear what the hell she's saying, so it's a good thing I got subtitles on, huh? Get him, Lydia. Oh, there he is. I've always kind of wanted to see one of these guys up close. What, this guy isn't gonna follow us? He's just gonna stand here? Wow, that's kinda bullshit, huh? Oh no, I guess he is gonna follow us. No, fool, stop. Stop, 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 stop. These things are disgusting. Oh well. I'm gonna put him out of his misery. over here. Okay, so how do we open it? I wonder. Holy shit. You know, I'd have to say this cavern isn't entirely stable. Yeah, 
get him. Don't fall. Uh, she is using charges. Maybe that's with, uh, maybe that doesn't count with, uh, with chaos damage. Oh well. Is there anything else in that kind of blows in a way. Shit. How are you how are you avoiding my attacks? For some reason I okay for some reason there for a second I couldn't move I don't know it's because I had the crossbow equipped or what man but pretty annoying leg of goats I should probably turn this off. So where are we supposed to go from here? Why'd that asshole have to fall? Where the hell is Lydia? Can you move?
Oh, there she is. Where the fuck do I go? That can't be right. That can't be it. Reach the summit of... How do I do that? When it's just a dead end. Oh boy. This is not good. And the map's not really... Helping me out at the moment. Oh wait. Never mind. We gotta go this way. check it out huh yeah that log is the one she's talking about right there and I totally want to grab it because it is unique and it is quite good I wouldn't say it's as good as Oriel's bow but it's definitely pretty damn good yeah this is the Zephyr bow Cool thing about this bow. Yeah, it fires 30% faster than a standard bow. So if you actually have the quick shot perk, you can actually fire, I want to say, like fucking, like basically 60% faster. Have it for me. Oh, no problem. We will put it to good use. If I get an archer follower, then I'll... Well, actually, I might even use it, too. I don't know. I'll have to compare... Um, like, I mean, that bow is probably better in a, in a fight where you're actually... Um, well, like, in a fight. In an actual fight where you're not sneaking around, you know? Probably do more damage with it just for the simple fact that you can draw it a lot faster. But it doesn't have any other enchants other than you can draw it really fast. As far as regular damage DPS, it probably is the best bow in the game. But it doesn't have like any other enchants or uh, any other effects, so... I'd say it's middle of the road. Pretty decent, though. Actually, now that I, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want to look this up right now. Actually, benefits from dwarven smithing. Okay, so it's a Dwarven bow. Here, looking at it at first glance, it kind of looked like it was Elven. But, nope, apparently not. to tell me there's no farmer gonna be hopping out of there there's gotta be man Strike them in the right order, 
and a door should open. Get it wrong and, well, you've seen what happened when I tried it. Uh, yeah, you mean the earthquake? Yeah, I thought I was prepared for anything. How can you prepare for a damned earthquake? And that was just one trap. Look around. Who knows what else this thing is capable of? Hmm. Hmm. Well, you can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Beyond that, well... Maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Hmm. So we got a bunch of whole whole bunch of resonators up there, huh? And we have gates that we can't open by normal means. We have a dwarven guy. That I will kill as soon as he walks out of that thing. So I'm not too worried about that. Hmm. You might look around a bit. Maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Oh wait, yeah, good idea. Like, I should search one of these damn skeletons, maybe. scrap of paper two three huh two and three so, two and three. I just gotta find one, four, and five now. So, based on that book. Okay. Five resonators, five tones. Just have to hit them in the right order. Alright, so she's got lower, she's got like lower left as one. Yeah, and then lower right is two, and then, okay. Well, let's try, like, let's try it here. gonna save first all right so let's shoot this yeah let's shoot this one that one's obviously right somehow I missed Fuck you. All else fails, just take a chance. See what happens. Wouldn't be surprised if half the traps have been sprung by now. Uh going. Hopefully this is number four. Alright, we 
did it. And I guess if we did it wrong, that dwarven guy would have popped out of there, huh? That centurion guy? But I guess we won't have to worry about him. This is what? Oh, look, an ethereum shard. So, it is real. Uh, what? What is this? Let me see it. Hmm. Look, on the edge here. This has been cut. Precisely cut. If you had another piece about the same size, it would it would snap right in. I saw a drawing of this once. This shard, it's it's part of a key. A key made of pure ethereum. The key to the forge. So what now? We have to find the other pieces, of course. There should be hmm, three more. One for each of the four cities that worked on the forge. I had a map in my journal. That yeah, I've got one already. I already have another shard. Really? Well, now that makes things easier. Alright, so then we what? We still have to find the forge itself. I had a lead on that too. Ah, there's so much to do. I'm going to head out and start tracking things down. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. Okay, Catria. While, I think I, we, may actually be able to do this, and and I owe it all to you. Thank you. Oh, well, no problem, Ghost. Anyway, let's open up the chest and get some crap. Oil, ebony, elven, flawless, gold, grand, greater, greater, greater. Oh yes, I will take all that stuff. Yeah, I guess I'll take that too. Uh, I suppose I could take some dwarven metal ingots. Apparently I'm going to need those. To upgrade the Zephyr bow, so I might as well take a few of them just in case I'm low. I don't think I am, but whatever. Cool. So we need to find two more places, basically. Okay. So, which one have I gotten already? I'm not even sure, man. Okay, so I got the one in the place we're in right now. Mentioned as a Batharzel, Allied City. Not Bathar Dams, though. It looks like a smaller site north or northwest of there on the river. I think I've already, I think that's the one that I found actually. Hmm. The primary source of Ethereum extracted from some deeper mine. Uh I have no idea where that that's not a very good map. I can't really tell where the hell three, four, and five is. Well, obviously, I think one of those locations is uh, is the actual forge. Yeah, apparently five is the location of the forge. If I'm not mistaken, at the end of this, we should get the Ethereum crown, which is one of those... Uh, I think it's one of those uh, headgears that allow you to have like two standing stone effects or something like that. If I recall, I think I've done this quest before, actually, in the past, in a previous playthrough. But, uh, that's all for this episode of Skyrim Special Edition. In the next episode, I will, sh I will track down the next location of this, uh, of this quest here. And I'll show off where to find the next Ethereum Shard. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.